Tonight, a local family is at odds with police over their loved one's cause of death. Was it suicide or was it murder? Police detectives say one thing, but the victim's family says the evidence just doesn't add up. They have another theory. 10 on your sides. Andy Fox is here with the story. Andy. Yeah, Regina and Stephanie, two private detectives think to write off Jonathan Outland's death as suicide is too easy. And that has led the Portsmouth police chief to reopen the investigation into the death of 27 year old Jonathan Outland. Almost a year ago on September 16th in this house on Avondale Road, Portsmouth, Jonathan Oliver Outland was shot in the head and he would later die. Today, he's buried in Windsor, a well-kept gravesite with a note from his eight-year-old son, Levi, now holding his daddy Jonathan pillow. He always pushed me on, um, on the swing set, even swam with me. Jonathan's mother, Dee. Uh, we should be grieving. <laughs> for Jonathan and trying to learn how to heal and none of us can heal because of this. We are stuck every day with him being killed over and over and over. You can tell from the wall in the grandparents' Isle of White County home, Jonathan was an avid hunter. State awards to prove it. His grandfather, Scooter. My grandson did not kill himself. My grandson was a wonderful boy. He would do anything for you. And he just they took his life. On the night he was shot, there were three people in the house along with Jonathan. Two private investigators, friends of the family, who once worked for the Portsmouth Police Department, convinced police ruling Jonathan's death a suicide is wrong. The location of the gun found arm's length from his body, which is the foundation of their argument, along with vertical blood droppings leading to the gun. His gun could not have gotten there from a suicide. The gun, once he shot himself in the head, the gun would have fallen to his side. If you look, those vertical drops are from something standing directly up above it. Tonight at six, we meet with Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins, who thinks it's suicide, but is also concerned about errors in the investigation that he's reopened the case. I'm working to find that out right now. Again, this is why this investigation remains open because again, I have questions. Um, I, I have to be able to answer truthfully to, to the public as to why uh, we did or didn't do certain things. Tonight at six, only on 10, what has led Portsmouth Police to not only reopen this case, but also to question how this case was investigated? I'll see you at six. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.